Hi, uh, I'm Tom Hewitt. Uh, we're at the beautiful Ambassador Theatre on 49th Street, and I'm getting ready to go into Chicago, the musical, and taking over the role of Billy Flynn. Hello, my name is Charlotte Amboise, and I'm about to uh, <laughs> go back into Chicago playing Roxy tonight, and uh, it's been about two and a half years since I've done the show, so um, I'm a little rusty. She's coming from a long history of the show, and I'll be leaning on her. <laughs> for all I'm worth, and uh, hoping that she drags me through the show. So this is what they got to put in. They're kind enough to uh, supply the entire orchestra. I've got a microphone, Charlotte and uh, some other people have some microphones. So they try to give you as many elements as they can, which is very generous because some, some producers don't like save a little money. So I'm very grateful to have as much of the elements as I'm going to have tonight. So, so it's exciting. God bless this cast. You know, they come in and they have to do the whole show pretty much on their day off. I mean, they're, they're not supposed to be working today. So they come in and it's, it's with an orchestra and with sound. He'll at least have a little bit of practice before he gets on stage and suddenly has lights and he, was, he panics. We just started a little bit and I could see he was sweating a little bit. It's like, oh, you're sweating. <laughs> it was funny. I'm trying to enjoy the butterflies because the butterflies go away too quickly now. <laughs> so the butterflies are fun. The worst that's going to happen is I'm going to profoundly embarrass myself. But I don't think anybody's going to get hurt. So, um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this. He's going to be fantastic in the role. He's really great. <laughs> Hello, uh, good evening, Broadway.com. So, uh, this is my dressing room, formerly Tom Wopat's dressing room. 5J, look, see? It's official. I'm on Broadway! In like a half an hour, I'm gonna be in front of a, a Broadway audience. I was walking in here and saw some of the patrons outside getting ready. So the butterflies are kind of setting in <laughs> a little bit. Well, right now, I'm putting in my microphone and now I'm uh, trying to disguise it as best I can. Forbidden Broadway calls this the um, Andrew Lloyd Webber disease. <laughs> you get this odd growth on your forehead uh, on Broadway. A lot of us have it. Hello, hello, come on in. This is my fabulous dressing room. Here we are. I'm getting ready for the show, so you can um, watch a little bit of me putting on some lipstick. Look at what a slob I am. It's unbelievable, right? And I love to say that I'm going to clean it up and organize it, which to a certain extent I do, but then it always ends up like this anyway. So, um, I don't know, that's the life of a Broadway star, I guess. The lady reckoning the chips is gonna be rats. She's gonna be a celebrity. That means somebody everyone knows. Yeah. They're gonna recognize her. Extent of my makeup. It's a sign of a good gig when this is all the makeup you have to wear. Lion King, my call for makeup was uh, an hour and 15 minutes before the show. So uh, thank God those days are over. My um, tuxedo shirt. Beautifully pressed by my dresser, Joanne, who's awesome. She'll be following me around today. Um, she'll be carrying my script. She'll be helping me um, remember my entrances. And uh, generally babysitting me. <laughs> That's another thing. <laughs> no makeup, no costume changes. I, you know, this gig gets better and better <laughs> the more I think of it. I don't care about expensive things. Cashmere coats, diamond rings don't mean a thing. All I care about is love. And that's, that's what, what he's here, here for. So now I'm going to do a couple splits. You get to watch me do a couple things here, um, which I do on the floor. I don't know if you can get them down. Here. But I have to do, and then the worst part of it is that I have to do this back bend that I've decided to put into the show now, like this big back bend. Oh, God. 
Oh god, that hurts. I used to be able to just go right up from there. I can't believe that. Then I do this. And then I just have to uh, get my little shoes. And then I gotta go down and do a couple more, you know, kicks before I come and put my costume on. Nothing like a double-breasted tuxedo. They're very forgiving. It's uh, showtime! So, um, if you'll give me a moment, I need to um, step down onto the stage and I'll meet you there. Thanks. Now I'm nervous. <laughs> and here goes. I'm going on my eighth. This is number eight. My eighth Broadway show. And here goes. Thanks, you guys. It was really fun. I'll see you around. Bye. Oh!